This is uncanny. Lesson one is identifying your pain. For me, it was exactly three years ago, and the conditions were a lot like this. There was snow on the ground and all over the roads, and underneath it was black ice. My wife was serving at a Christian retreat called Chrysalis, and she had one rule for me that day. She said, Gabe, don't leave the house. So me being the stereotypical husband, <laughs> I left the house. I headed southward on County Road 212, and I didn't get very far when I hit a patch of black ice, and my Jeep went off the road. I barely missed the ditch, but I hit the telephone pole. Totaled the car. At the time, it didn't seem like I had any injuries, but it would be about five days later, I would start having a sharp pain in my chest. Come to find out that I had atrial fibrillation and my heart was beating faster than it should have been. They said, there's less than a maybe 5% chance that you would have a blood clot. So we're considering shocking your heart. After a TEE scoping my heart to see if there were any clots on a different day, they found a blood clot. Had they done the cardio version that day, I would have died. Or maybe stroked, I, I don't know. That's, that's the kind of mercy that was given to me that day. But that was the beginning of this three years of dealing with head pain. It's been a low, dull ache. I would say I've sustained a pain level of four, if you're familiar with the Wong Baker scale. But at that time I was, I was working at a church and the, the stresses of church were overwhelming. It intensified my pain about 10.30 in the afternoon. That was about when I knew that it was gonna start reaching about a seven or an eight. And then when I came home after a 45 to one hour drive, 45 minute, I suppose. That's when it would reach about an 8 or a 9 and I would be huddled on the floor just trying to make it through. The sumatriptan really wouldn't touch it after taking it consistently and Tylenol and ibuprofen would just get it there. Just enough that it would take the edge off and I could move on to the next day. I had no idea at that time the kinds of personal and physical and spiritual implications that would come with something like having a heart problem and a thyroid problem. I had no idea how much that was going to change my spiritual walk. Especially since I'm, I'm still dealing with that pain. After having numerous people pray over me, I've had shots, I've had pills, um, massage, different types of oils. There have only been a few times that the Lord has taken the pain away for just a moment. And they all came from when there were obvious moments that the Holy Spirit was, was present in the congregation, when someone was, was praying specifically over me a few times even in, in tongues. There's a Bible verse in Jeremiah that a lot of people use, and it says, for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you 
not to harm you. To give you hope and for a future. I know that it was willed that I would have this pain for now to deal with. But there were decisions that I made to take myself out of safety's net. I can admit that. It brought harm to myself, to my family, to my wife, to the congregation, and it came in, in various forms. I'll admit that too. But my walk with the Lord has never looked like this before. Worshiping Him has never been so sweet. Spending time in the Word has never been so profitable. I'm in a season now where I'm trusted to lead young people in their education, to teach them not only about music, but about worshiping God. That's something I was fighting for years, and I, I did not want to identify that. Who knew that that was a kind of pain that I I wasn't ready to recognize so that my life could begin to converge. Everything was coming to the place where God had the work for me to do. All I had to do was finally say yes. Life is so much sweeter now. He has provided enough strength for each day to deal with the pain, even though an answer still has not come. But that's okay. I, I, I mean that, for, for me. For me, that's, that's okay. I'm not necessarily looking for the miracle. I'm looking to the one who does the miracles. And he's made my life incredible because of that. And he can do that for you too. My prayer is that you would be able to identify your pain, to really seek God on your knees and ask him, show me, Lord. Show me what you have to teach me. And he will do that. And that's my prayer for you, that you would have the strength to do so. Time.
universe and heartbeat Oh, an echo fly And I'll be Oh uh-huh.